Hey guys, it's future Brent here. I'm gonna take you back to old Brent when we actually film this. Do, do, do. All right, here we are. Oh, my shit. Welcome to the back of the vehicle. The most noticeable thing, bam, Max Line Adventure Canopy. This came out at the start of this year, which is 2023, I hope. And brand new from Max Liner, their Venture Canopy. Favorite feature about this canopy for me is push button open for all the windows. So there's a little pad here that opens the rear, the left side and the right side, all from the push of a button. So very, very cool feature that these guys incorporate into their canopies. Also, as you might notice, on the top, we've got the Max Liner mounting system teamed up with the Yakima rack. And then I've got all my accessories on there. So let's talk about that real quick. We've got a Darchi 270 awning on the passenger side of the vehicle for obvious reasons. Full wraps around to the rear. So when this is up and you've got what we've got in here out, the draw system, uh, you're covered from the elements. Then on this side, we do have the road shower. Now that is a water tank and basically they have a awesome little fitting for your compressor that you can plug into that and you can pressurize the tank which then turns it into a pressurized hose and so pairing up with the road shower we've got a darchi shower tent on the side so that way if you want a little bit of privacy and you're not as outgoing as i might be uh you can set the tent up and you know get your gear off and have a great old time all right anyway let's pop some windows ha huh. how handy and uh, I'm gonna run you guys through what's in the back. So let's have a look. Ta-da! Look at that. All right, so if you didn't know, we did team up with RV Storage Solutions uh, from Melbourne. So we're doing a lot of their draw systems now. The reason why is because they do really, really good stuff. So Hayden Tash uh, came and saw us and were like, hey guys, you do car things. How about you use our products? And I was like, yes, please, because I'd been watching these guys for a good while. I like the stuff that they do. We've had, we've used their gear in the past, um, but we hadn't really dove into a partnership with those guys. So RV Storage Solutions at the Bore Shop, that's what's happening. So as you can see in here, we've got their premium alloy setup in the black. And we've got a fridge slide, which is done by those guys as well. Check it with the Coolman fridge. Ta-da, easy access. Bang, get your drinks out. They're nice and cold because it's on. Because I've got a solar panel on my roof. See, I told you that before, didn't I? And the feature I do like about this is the small under drawer. See, look at that. There's a bottle of water in there already. That's probably Ty's. Thanks, Ty. Well, that sounded a bit weird, didn't it? Right. On this side, you've got a massive amount of storage space in this drawer. Now, if you did just see that, it doesn't slide back in because the guys have got a lockout system on their drawers. This is optional, the drawer top, so you don't have to get it, but super handy bit of equipment. And you've got loads of storage in here, absolutely bucket loads, because they're nice and long, and this is a nice deep drawer. So massive amount of storage, little lever here, push to release and away you go right one thing that you might have seen what's going on over here Brent okay we just got a couple of 12 volt outlets dual USB and I've got a Anderson plug there but I've got my road power switch panel in the car I've got the exact same one so the road power switch panel can have two controllers it mirrors the main controller though so i used it in cab to do all of my switching so on the rear here you might be like why do you want to push winch in and out from the back because it mirrors the controller that's in the front the reason why i put this one back here was for exterior lighting so when you're camping you can have your left or your right side light on or your rear light um, and that's basically the reason why i wanted to have it at the back of the vehicle because I've got an air compressor switch on there and everything. So we've got a nice little compressor setup that is under one of the wings on the driver's side. 
and an air outlet there for that. And then loads of storage, as you guys can see, all the way down into the canopy. Cool thing about the Venture canopy as well is the strut setup. So they are on the corners out of the way. They don't have a massive arm that comes down. And that way you can have taller devices in the vehicle uh, that aren't going to be affected by the door dropping down. So that's another really good feature about the new Venture canopy as well. If you didn't see, storage box that comes uh, as an option for this system as well. So it'll protect not only the fridge, but it'll just stop all your gear from falling in there. I did a Victoria trip with Amy and the kids in the D-Max and the older drawer system that we had in here didn't have one of these. And every time I'd pull the fridge out, all of our stuff would fall in behind it and putting it back in was a major nightmare. So having one of these is awesome. And it also doubles you can hang those little strappy modular things to them. So any of your uh, navigator gear or the MSA stuff, anything like that, with that modular setup, you can tie it up and hang it on there. So very cool feature. And look at that. Great spot to put your umbrellas if you ever need one. Or chairs. Chairs is a good one. I, I usually use it for chairs, but Ty's got umbrellas up there for whatever reason. I've got a nice little deck sheet here with the BAW logo in it for the tailgate. That is a quick overview of inside the canopy at the rear. But yes, very, very happy with the RV storage solution draw system in the back. All right, party people, welcome to the inside of the D-Max. Our version of the D-Max, this does not come with leather. So Amy being Amy, she has wanted the leather and has done a unique design through our mates at uh, ProSeat. And we've got brand new leather with, our, what do you call it, maroon stitching. So in our seats, we've got all nice stitching, we've got the BAW logo in there, uh, on all the doors and everything, wherever there was um, material, we have now got leather instead. So that's something that we also had done. Max line of floor mats though, those things act like a bucket for dirty feet. Uh, so I love them and they fit brilliantly. They're like those molded uh, shaped floor mats. So I love the Max line of floor mat as well. And up here is my inside road vision panel that we were talking about down the back. So spotlights, roof lights, winch in and out, all that stuff actually happens up in the little taco holder or your sunglasses holder, but I never use ours, so I'm utilizing it for that. So switches go away, switches come back. Very, very handy. But interior wise, I didn't go too crazy. We do have a UHF pass through down here for the GME UHF. And then on the driver's side here, I do have a tow pro as well, because I have set the car up to tow. It's kind of can do it all. It'll do your beach days. It'll do your outback touring days. It'll do a bit of good four wheel driving. Let me tell you that because this particular model has a rear e-locker as standard from factory. So they are a very, very capable dual cab four wheel drive. The only thing I wish they had was a little bit more power, but that's about it. Uh, other than that, I am super happy with the D-Max. It is a very, very reliable piece of machinery and I've been loving it. Ty's been loving it. It's a, it's a great, great ute. We'll probably finish it up somewhere else. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough of the D-Max. Done and dusted, there it is. That's what we've done to it. Uh, we have had this thing for about 12 months now. So uh, Ames and I took it on a two, two and a half week trip down to Melbourne and all the way back up through, uh, through the middle of Queensland and New South Wales. Um, it's been a really, really good daily driver, but then for that, you know, every now and then trip or weekend warrior, you'd definitely put it in the category of a full-time tourer if you wanted to go a bit extra, more than what we have done to it right here. But for what we wanted to use it for, which was exactly what I just mentioned, weekend, a little bit of touring here and there, this thing has ticked all the boxes for us. So. Very happy with the D-Max. It's done absolutely everything that I've thrown at it. Uh, and it's been a really, really cool car. So hope you guys enjoyed. 
put down in the comments below of something that you would have done different if it was yours. And um, who knows? We might change it just for you and we can do another walkthrough. But thanks guys, give us a thumbs up. That way you can keep up to date with what's happening at the ball shed. See you guys. Here we go. Well, that's not gonna work, Hayden. He's ready to do it, Yes! <laughs> so much shit. Just gonna send it. No.